Hello and welcome to GoGeekGo.com. This particular video covers the first normal form of relational databases or RDBMS. All normal forms are data normalization techniques mainly to reduce the data redundancies and promote efficient storage without losing any information. We have a series of three easy to learn short videos to cover the first, second and most importantly the third normal form. So let's first look at what first normal form is and in few seconds we will be checking one real world example of it. So first normal form has no repeating groups, have atomic values, unique column names and unique row. But what does all these things really mean? Let's look at one real world example and see what we mean by that. So here is one data set I have. This data set is an example of a provider or doctor diagnosing some patient at one of his her location of practice. And we have not purposefully given any patient information just to make things simple to understand here. So if you look at this row, this is the provider ID and here is the provider name, John Doe. He's a male and diagnosed some patient with two different diagnosis codes, which means fever and hypertension. And he diagnosed this patient on March 3rd and March 10th in two different locations. Similarly, we have another example of provider Mira Na. Let's go back to our definition and it says no repeating groups. So let's look at this example and see what repeating groups really mean. So here if you look at the same data of provider John Doe with these diagnoses, what's happening here is because the provider has done two diagnoses at two service locations, I am trying to repeat the group here by increasing my column names. So I have diagnosis code, then I also have diagnosis code 2. Similarly, diagnosis description and diagnosis description 2. And same is happening for all three service related columns. So this is what we mean by repeating groups. So first normal form should not have that. So now as you have understood what repeating group is, let's check what does atomic value means. Going back to our example, if you look at this particular column, which is provider name, it has the provider first name and the provider last name information in it. Meaning one column has more than one information stored in it. We can also see another example where service location field is storing the city and the state information in it. So to make this data into the first normal form, we need to separate out these fields into two two separate fields where one field will say city and one field will say state and for provider name we will separate it out based on provider first name and provider last name. So let's check how this data will look like in first normal form as we know what does repeating group means and what does atomic value mean. First what we will do is we will separate out provider data into a separate table and will also split the provider name into the provider first name and last name. What this table is showing us that this provider ID belongs to one and only one one unique provider and if we look at it now this table is completely in first normal form it does not have any repeating group it does not have any atomic value and also if we go back to our definition it has the unique name and it has the unique rows as you can see here now the interesting thing in this example is this other table where we are storing the provider ID with 
the diagnosis and the service location information and also the service date which essentially means that this provider id did this diagnosis which means fever hypertension or stomach gas at this particular service location which is st louis in missouri or austin in texas on these particular dates also you can see that we have removed the atomic issue from this table as well by separating out the city and state from the service location column so if we look at this table also conforms to first normal form because we have removed the repeating group issue and also we have removed the atomic values issue and we can see the column names are unique and all four rows are unique so just to quickly recap what we have essentially done is we have changed this data into two different tables one essentially containing only this data which is a provider specific data while in our second table we are containing this data along with our provider id and we have kind of copied the provider id for this row and for this row as well as you can see that in this table this completes this particular video and in our next tutorial of this data normalization series we would be covering the second normal form so don't miss out on that and get the complete understanding of this topic thanks for watching this video and do visit our website gogeeko.com for more easy to learn videos and to contact us if you have any advanced learning needs or if you have any questions thanks bye now